Everybody, Scout Crafter here again. Uh, beautiful May day in New York. Uh, we got a quick project. We don't want to be down the basement too long on such a nice day. All right, thanks very much for tuning in and sticking around. Now, today's project is a uh, simple screwdriver. Picked this up. It was in a box of who knows what. Maybe paid a quarter for this or something, you know. Look at the shape it's in. Uh, the blade isn't too mangled, which is which is a nice feature when you see that the blade isn't too bad. Some of these can be really twisted, and it is straight, but look at the rust. It's kind of embedded, especially over here, you could see. That looks like in real bad shape, right? I mean, uh, it's a mess, and it's just, and you look at this and you say, why would you even bother? And sometimes you do it as almost like a practice challenge, and that's what this one is, so... Let's see what we can do with it. Okay, sanding's done here. Um, we protected the metal after we wire brushed it. We protected it from getting any scratches from the sandpaper, but now we're going to, uh, I'm gonna go over and now we're gonna protect this with tape so that we don't have to, uh, when we buff this out, we don't want to uh, contaminate the wood. And then we'll stain it and finish it. Now, you see here, we do have to address the tip. Tip has some, uh, you know, some pitting on it and whatnot. It's not even. And, uh, but it's, it's getting there. Looks good. <laughs> So I baked the uh, the clear and the paint on to the, uh, the screwdriver. You can see I put a tin can over here and uh, the heat rises and gets in the can and makes everything nice and warm. Now you guys remember my favorite part. You remember what it looked like before we started. Now we're calling this project done. Uh, came out really nice, didn't it? Look at that. Polished out. Fixed up the tip. Look how nice that ferrule came out. Who would have thought that come out nice? And look at the finish on this. Uh, the handle. Uh, just a quick, uh, just to show you what we did. Um, we first finished it up with, uh, sanded it down, put some gun stock, Minwax gun stock, let that dry. After that, we put two coats of shellac to seal it. Once it was sealed with two coats of shellac, we did the top, the little tip here, with Rust-Oleum Regal Red. And then once that was dry, we added the uh, uh, one heavy coat of uh, of rust-oleum clear the reason we use this is that it won't uh it won't mess up the uh, the red paint because it's the same now the nice thing about doing that is you have no uh you can see there's no transition line here there's no line for the paint it's just you know the clear coat covers everything and uh really happy with the way this screwdriver came out just came out real nice didn't it and that just goes to show you that you can get any junk tool and, and really have a good time restoring a tool that has uh no value or little value, but just as a lot of fun. Now I'll just put this in the drawer with the other restored tools and we'll get to start on the next one. Uh, I want to thank all my subscribers, especially you guys chiming in uh, with your comments. Really appreciate it. Thanks very much. Hope you guys have a nice day. Bye-bye.